Hi everyone, I'm Sakajara, and welcome to this video about Asphalt 8 and 9 going goofy. If you stuck with Asphalt 8 and are still playing to this day, I don't know how you're doing it, you'll know that Asphalt 8 got a Gangstar Vegas collab update. This took away max upgrades, including the improvements that they would have made on your own cars, and in turn, all upgrades got way more expensive. They also made some kind of car look worse with a redesign. The update as a whole seems rushed with no thought put into it. I'm not here to go in depth on every bad change though, since other creators have covered it better and earlier. I'm here to show you how hard they're trying to make the Gangstar Vegas collab thing stick in their announcements on the Asphalt Discord server. Like, just look at it all. Oh yeah, and my personal favorites. Hey Gangstars and Racers, Jason here. I'm loving the crazy asphalt racing tracks. Have you taken Ramona out for a ride yet? We are riding stylish and cool. Have you played Gangstar Vegas Racers? Share with us what you like most in both games! Moving on to Asphalt 9, the Around the World updates brought in wild cards, which we were all excited for initially until we got wild cards for ourselves and figured them out. Here's a brief rundown. Each card has a star count and class on it. Take my 2 star Celine S1 for example. This will accept my 2 2 star C class wild cards and only those. 3 star C class cards won't work on it. Likewise, I can't use these 2-star C-Class cards on any of my 1-star C-Class cars. Wild cards also can help to unlock. Once you have unlocked the card you want, the 1-star cards for this class will help you progress towards 2-star with it. 2-star cards, once you've 2 star it will go towards 3-star and so on. This is why D and C-Class cards go up to 4-star since the max star in D and C is 5, where the rest go up to 5 since there are 6-star cards in each. Also of note, there's a different limit to cards you can own of each type. Wild cards aren't the goofiest thing in this update though. In addition to the MP pass, they've made another attempt at getting people to pay real money for more potential tokens that you'd have to grind for. They call this the Asphalt 9 Bank. You earn tokens for simply racing, and you unlock more tokens obtainable by racing by paying money for each tier. It goes up to tier 10, and at tier 10 it total 5540 tokens, including the free 40 tokens from tier 1. For me right now, it shows 499 for each tier after tier 1, but that may only be because I haven't unlocked tier 2 yet. It's likely that it'll increase for each tier once you do unlock the next. What's even more strange about it all is that it only started for everyone today. Well, I didn't unlock first day of the update is beyond me. It also doesn't seem to reset daily. We'll have to see how long it takes for it to reset. It probably won't be a very short time period though, because I'm betting it will take a while to fully unlock everything in tier 10, which they may want to give players time for. But yeah, that's been this short video about Asshole 89 going goofy. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.